Hello everyone, my name's Lex, and back with some Thursday evening games, uh, continuing my playthrough on Unicorn Overlord. It has been a week, um, <laughs> had wanted to do some other, uh, or at least my normal gaming schedule, um, but quite a few IRL stuff kind of came up during the week, so that kind of put a kibosh to that for the meantime. Um, and also, my computer was being a uh, pissant, uh, so I had to go beat that thing into submission. Uh, hopefully it's cooperative, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, at least the PS5 is not going to act up on me. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah. So, other stuff should be resuming. We'll see how see how the uh, the rest of this week and weekend goes. Um, I believe. I said I was going to kind of start some Final Fantasy 7 remake stuff um, tomorrow. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, but that was kind of the plan was to do that for Fridays. Um, but yeah. Uh, but at least for tonight, uh, Unicorn Overlord. So picking up where we were last time, we had entered into Dragonhold, uh, the country to the south of Cornea. Um, that uh, it's pretty much a desert, arid kind of climate. Um, and we had met with uh, Elaine's niece, um, uh, Virginia, uh, who had, um, geez, I'm just trying to go off the top of my head, who had, uh, refugee, uh, or escaped, I guess, uh, down here, uh, when the, uh, kingdom had fallen and has a been spending a number of years here so reunited with her uh also met up with uh some people that albin had known um because he's also from drakenhold um it seems like the crew that he was working for if i understand correctly um he was working for these people um they had been you know they kind of split up because one of them was being mind controlled by uh this it sounds like it was the old man that we had seen in the sanctuary with emperor Galeri galeris um but the spellcaster is there it sounds like he's the one who's doing all this mind control magic um but yeah so it sounds like the bandit uh the bandit lord it was magellan he was being mind controlled so we had to free him um joining us in that act to uh at least get to him was his sister uh, liza um we kind of put up a front to take down uh his troops so then we can get to him and then from there we learned that um a royal knight from the kingdom was also mind controlled um, and was causing some havoc across the land. So we had to also free him, Gloucester, uh, which we were able to do after quite a bit of a, a battle. And uh, yeah, now we're still uh, here in Drakenhold uh, trying to get our, a good hold of this whole area. Oh. Uh. Act 
activates after being attacked. Uh oh, that's that only activates after. Hmm. Let's see. Attack a single enemy. Since we have him, may as well see what he can do. Um, I, it's if I remember correctly, this Dark Knight ability uh, or class it gets stronger the lower HP it's at. So kind of want to make it so that he uses his skills. Like he mostly uses Venom Axe. That's no problem. Um, I'm probably going to move this over, or move this up higher, however, set the condition so that damage increases the less HP the user has. So I think we want to start triggering this when he has less than, when he has 50% less, uh, when he has 50% HP or less, he starts using Vengeful Axe. Otherwise, he just does Venom Axe and just strikes with that over and over again. And then Vengeful Axe just to really kind of turn up a notch. And then Vengeance. If he had another passive, I would probably give him that and allow him to... Um, And allow him to have that passive go, but I don't at the moment. Let's poison. So they said that arbalists are good versus flying foes, but also because they can do toxic or do poison, that gets by enemies that have armor. So I kind of want to say Power Bolt, prioritize flying enemies with that. Toxic I may actually say prioritize flying and prioritize armored with with toxic bolt um, so that those those enemies are at least poisoned and then they they still take damage even if they're not taking physical damage and then power bolt is just a strong ass attack that hits flying targets, which I may actually I would say maybe Power Bolt only use that against flying targets and then toxic prioritize flying or armor targets if neither are there I think that may be the best way to go with that Magellan you're a cell sword so you're just like um uh Berenice. Hi, Yo Yellow. Hope you're having a good evening. Uh, what did I do with you? Same thing. Lowest HP target. But I also gave you a Warrior's Medallion. Which I don't know if I have anymore. I don't think I do. I 
don't. Yours is 39. Whoops. Where are you at? 44. Uh, I... Whoa. Did not want to do that. Deliveries can't do none of them. You won't find finer weapons in all of Drakenhold. Draken. Dragonbone. Ooh. These weapons give plus one PP. Hmm. It's actually not bad. But that minus 10 to initiative does suck, though. Searing Shield. Fire Curse. Inflicts burn on a row of enemies. Ooh, you know what? I actually have money now. Now, thank fucking god. Um. Oh yeah, she's just using a bronze staff. Yeah, use that, please. Obliged. Be waiting. For Got a keen eye on ya. My wares won't disappoint. Uh, yeah, I got like nothing because I spent a shit ton. Um, in battles that I I just don't have any, <laughs> so I need to I need to re up my stocks. Uh, you only have one of those. Damn. Liquid fortune. I may hold off on that. Light feathers. Replica sword. Sure, we'll buy that. You've got a deal. Your coins. We need to make deliveries so we can have these places uh, guarded and items can be gotten. Grave Mond? Mm, don't have enough. But we can at least deliver what we do have. You won't find finer weapons in all of Drakenhold. Flame bow, we got dragon bone items. Be with Again, I'm eh on them. Um Alright, that's what turned in. I, I kind of like having initiative, to be honest. Um, so I don't really want to destroy that if I don't have to. You won't find finer weapons in all of Drakenhold. Thundering Bow. Attack single enemy, inflict physical minus 40%. Damn. That's actually not bad. Oh, you also use a bow, even though you're technically using a crossbow. Sure. Weird. Um, crit rate 10%, accuracy 20%. I mean, burn's good. But if he hasn't destroyed an enemy, making them weaker... Kinda, kinda good. Much obliged. Not gonna lie. Be waited. Got a keen eye on ya. My wares won't disappoint. Uh. Same thing. I'm gonna buy out your stock of stuff. You 
you won't find finer weapons in all of Drakenhold. Piercing bow. Physical defense minus 30. That's actually not bad. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give you this. Much obliged. Aerial guard. Activates before being hit by a physical attack. Block an enemy attack with a medium guard. Becomes a heavy guard. And grants the user plus one eight, uh, PP if the enemy is flying. Hmm. That's actually not bad. Um. My anti. I think I was designated. <laughs> uh, I think I did. I completed that little quick jaunt to go grab some chickens. So, I mean, unless it comes up again, <laughs> hopefully that was the last of it. We'll see. Um, but I mean, you know, being a citizen of this continent, got to help out the little people with their chickens. General of an army collecting chickens. Gotta love it. Um, I think I was designating Virginia's unit as my anti-air. Um, this only does guard, efficiency, guard ray, critical, yeah, yeah. Royal guard, I want to keep this because this is actually pretty good. The black iron sword. You won't find finer weapons in all of Dracula. Oh, this is a great shield. Never mind. Uh this is actually technically better because it gives her an extra ability to do something. And this one gets plus one PP, so I'm going to keep that. But also, 8,000 is a lot. Sure, I'm pretty sure she's, she's worth it. Be wait. Got a keen eye on ya. My wares won't disappoint. Okay, I've been pretty much burning everything I have. You won't find finer weapons in all of Drakenhold. Ooh, okay. I saw this. Aha! This is what I was looking for. Hold on, will this replace her blue rose shield? I gotta see this now. Hold on. Hmm. That's weird. Um. Guard rate. Can't equip multiples of the same item. Alright, well, I'm just gonna remove this. You won't find finer weapons in all of Drakenhold. Much obliged. Be what's what's I want to make sure this isn't like being, if I'm not being crazy here.
Okay, she does have both. Good. Whew. Um, let's see. I was like, this this isn't replacing the item, is it? No, okay, no, it's not. Thank God. It does give her a little bit less guard rate, but I think because it was. Oh, her physical defense also went down. It went down by one. Guard rate went down by one. But then it's not really showing it, though. Um, but, I mean, guard efficiency is still fine. Oh, her crit rate went down as well. Hmm... I mean, huh. I don't know. I'm kind of positioning her unit as crushing air units. So giving her and her swords giving her crit rate plus five. I feel like that's fine. Um... I kind of want to say if this is a flying combatant, I would say prioritize using aerial guard and Yeah, if it's if have arrow guard go up if we're being attacked by a a flying unit and otherwise go with royal guard because that will give her HP back. Iron Crusher, it's good against armor targets. That's fine. Vertical Edge, definitely use it against flying targets. Keeping that. Um, that's the case then. Her shield. Accuracy goes down, but that's not really the worst thing in the world. Um, he does gain crit rate, which isn't bad. Golden Ram Shield gives HP and stun immunity. This gives blindness immunity. Crit rate's not bad. Physical de uh, defense goes up. Crit rate goes up. Guard rate goes up. Accuracy goes slightly down. I think I may do this. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be broke again. I just know it. I just know it. Oh wait, I'm already broke. Never mind. Uh, the other thing was that I wanted to grab this. Activate at the end of a battle, restore 25% HP to an ally. Much obliged. Be with I don't know who's going to take this. Um... I'm gonna say probably one of my... Man, you have a shit ton of stuff that uses your that uses your PP. Um, all you have is blue, or sorry, have is first aid. Uh, 
heals 25%. Does first aid trigger at the... Oh, it also... Tr oh! It also does 25%. And trigger at the end of battle. Okay, so you want to definitely give this to someone who doesn't have a way of healing. Yeah, I was thinking the other day about changing up some of these setups, but most of this is really going to depend on me having um, more people within a unit. Um, that first aid kit's going to be very useful. I'm just trying to think of who should grab it. You also use first aid at the end of battle. Wait. Attack two enemies at a time. Prioritize flying units. Uh. Ooh. You should prioritize armor units with that. Uh, let's see. Dual shots. Probably. I'm going to remove this. Dual shot should be used on combatants. Oh, that's most. Uh, where are we looking at? Unit size. Uh, that's only. Nope. Nope. Don't like that either. How many does this shoot? Attacks two enemies. So then... Well, it only does two. So then why would I use it on anything else other than two? Uh, activates only when there are two or fewer enemies. Otherwise, there's no reason to use it. Let's see... Prioritize only combatants with rows of two, two or more. Yeah, because there's no other, there's no reason to use this if he's, because it's only attacking two people. So, yeah, two or more. Otherwise, you are using. Armor, Shatter, or Single Shot. I would say Armor, Shatter, actually, instead of prioritizing, only use it against Armored Targets. Otherwise... Well, you know, Defense Down is good for anyone, so maybe not only uh, prioritize armor Targets. And then single shot, prioritize fly, prioritize scout, otherwise just blast them. And they do the same damage. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, if it's two combatants, fire a dual shot. If it's a single target, shatter. Yeah, I think that's good. And yeah, see now... Who oh boy. Where is a large town? Oh, this is a city. Alright, we're gonna have to go to a fort. Alright, expanding units. We need 200 honors, and I think we have to, yep, we have to be renowned A to expand up to five units. So that ain't gonna happen anytime soon. Um, I would like to say we expand Huh. Well, hold on a second. If I wanted to make that unit... decisions I could expand Virginia's unit we have so many people that we just added to our fucking army and I <laughs> don't know where to go <sighs> I mean we have cell swords that we can add we also have a uh, Arbalist that we just have. Um, I'm going to expand. There's so many different options that I can go. Um, Virginia's unit's pretty good at the moment. I think I'm gonna expand Rolf's unit. For this unit. Um, Chloe, uh, you don't really have guard rates. You do. I think I'm going to move Chloe to the center here. We're going to add Liza to this group. Fifteen to a whole row doubles if the HP is is fifty percent or less. So we essentially have two groups that can or not even not two groups, but we have this unit that's very good at ranged. Lex can cover them with arrow cover. He prioritizes the back row because they have low physical defense. His is 
better. Not great. Oof, that's even worse. Uh, Watchmen's. Guard efficiency, max HP, stun immunity. I mean, honestly, this is the Golden Ram Shield is all better stuff compared to the others. So we'll give him that. He has a Vitality Talisman, which is giving him higher HP as well. Baroque Sword. He has accuracy, but he doesn't really need it. Um, Because these guys in the back are pretty much our accuracy people. 175, 132, 143, 126. He has to get, oh, yeah, he just, he just has the lowest in the group. Um, She has the highest. Holy crud. Yeah, we'll keep this. This will be our rain support unit. And they have ways of keeping themselves alive while also... Um, yeah, they have some healing, they have some self-sustain, and they can, they can hit from a range. If they need to attack enemies that get close to them, especially like flying units, um, we have... Uh, they have ways of dealing with flying units if they get close. Armor units. I mean, Rolf can can break armor with with his stuff. I think this unit should be okay. Next up, I'm gonna want to. Uh, Berenice's unit. I may actually dissolve this one and throw Berenice into another group. Maybe. I have, I have an idea of where. I was going to take her and throw her into a lane's unit. Um, but we'll see. Mainly because... She has reheal, which grants a row of allies HP, prioritizing the front row. Um, and then, if she needs to quickly heal someone, she can do that. She can heal a whole row of allies, especially if they're debuffed. Yeah, I, I have. I'm probably going to expand on, on Lane's unit, but in order to do that, we need some honors. So, enough theory crafting. Let's go for our mission. Oh, Ruby. Oh, there's a scene here. Who's this? Rolf and Chloe. It's grown late, Chloe. There's not much we could have done, though. I mean, it was quick enough liberating that town, but I never thought they would throw us a festival afterward. A fair enough point. The food was rather impressive as well. Yet I worry the snack I prepared this morning will, will have to be thrown away. So that's what you're doing, crouched over the fire. What were, what was it you made? Roasted yams. Not only are they delicious, but they give me all the energy I need to endure through the day. If they're really that good, why don't you just eat them now? Although it might not be the best idea to have a whole snack right before dinner. Perhaps we can share them then. Better that than let them go to waste. Well, as long as you're sure. Is something wrong? Oh, I don't think we can eat those. Yes, it seems I misjudged the effects of this cruel heat. Forgive me, yams, for allowing you to spoil in such a careless manner. 
It's not your fault, Rolf. We just aren't used to life in the desert yet. How about next time we cool them off first? Or maybe we can forage for food after our assignment instead of before. Indeed. Is that really all you have to say to me? Come on, cheer up already. Got some honors out of it. It's small, but it's enough to at least see that our people are connecting with one another. So I don't have a problem with that. Also, it gives me honors, which I'm definitely never going to turn down. Ooh, what's this? Nothing? Nothing. Boo. Oh, sea beam. That's what I was looking for. And a light feather. Uh, if I remember correctly, was it this town that needed sea beam? I think it was. It does, but I still don't have enough. Boo. I scoured the ruins, your majesty, and found the urn of hollow corn ash. Nice! Specifically good in case I fuck up on a mission or someone goes down I need to revive them. Alright, Divine Shard and more Sea Beam. A door? What is this place? I can't do nothing with it. I mean, we'll fight ya. Uh, do we have anyone that would... S oh god, that's a lot of you guys. That's a loss. That's a loss. That's a loss. That's a loss. Hmm. This is the only unit that actually gets a, a convincing victory against them. So we're able to knock some set. Oh, hello. Flotina, the rebel's here. Fine then, I'll teach you what happens to la rats like you. Battle for Golfa. What level are you? Level 12. Eh, we could do that. Ah, shit. Whoops. I meant to skip this one. Back to you. Ooh, shiny. Fine shard. Um. Doo -doo 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 I can't travel to this location. What's here? Oh, right. It's because there's those people. Ugh, the bands we fought on that last job practically swarmed us the second the battle started. I remember, yes. Each of their unit bore four members, a challenging task to overcome. Maybe we should try boosting our max unit size too, if we got the honors for it, I mean. I suggest you do the same, good sir. The size of a given unit is, at times, the most important improvement you can make. Hold on a moment, it seems uh, this is a lesson you've already learned. You've got a good head on those shoulders, kid. Try to make sure you never lose it. Haha! -ha! I already did it. Give me those honors. Forty-three. Also, I just realized a thousand experience to a selected ally grants three times experience if they are level thirty or below. Holy shit! Um, we have quite a few of these. 
50 experience grants three times if they are 10 or below. Oh, we don't really have a lot of people who are level less than level 10 now, do we? Uh, we have some. Yana. Boost you. Uh, Nina. To protect those who can't protect themselves. You got some. I'll need to study this further. Offensive curse inflicts physical attack minus fifty, magic attack minus fifty percent on the row of enemies. Ooh, nice. All right, well you're ten, so can't use that anymore. Uh, you sir. A toast to strength. All right, you got boosted. Uh, don't really have anyone else who. Well, again, Yana. A little closer to my former strength. Magic missile. Attack two enemies with magic. Okay. And she's level 10. Um. We'll bump both of you, and I'll keep one just because. Oh, standard. Level 20 or below. Interesting. Okay. Allows a character's appearance to be changed. Why? Okay. Inverse the positions of sun and moon changes the time of day. What? Interesting stuff. Okay. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, right. Jeez. So, she just got something. Activates only when there are two or more enemies. Otherwise, she uses Ice Bolt. That's... that's fine. Dual shot, I want you to activate when there are two or more enemies. So it's pretty much the exact same thing as what that magic missile was. Two more enemies, use dual shot. Otherwise, if it's just a single enemy, um, prioritize armor, shatter, or if there are flying enemies, use scout. Or flying or scouts use single shot. Though I want to say. Your, your group is kind of more positioned to go after flying and scouts. But if there are. Flicked physical, I would say the unit with the highest physical defense also prioritize prioritize either armored targets or the highest physical defense targets. Um, and then just do a single shot against flying or scouts. Only use okay.
Uh, who else leveled up? They did not, right? No, because they're still level 9. Oh, but you did. Flame Hex. Burn to a row of enemies. PP minus 1 and initiative minus 10 to a row of enemies. So she has different curses, and I probably want to know that. This is weird because I want. Ooh, actually, here we go. Targets that have high physical attack and magic attack use offensive curse. Um, passive curse. If the enemy has whoever that has the highest max PP or the highest initiative, use passive curse and then burn. I mean, anyone can just get burned. So probably would move this down though. But then it's never going to see any use. This is an interesting one. Activates before enemy is an attack. Attack minus 20% for a single enemy's next attack. Critical seal. That's fine. I don't see any problem with that one. The fire curse. That's going to be weird. So yeah, this this is also another group that I'm not sure what the what to do with them. I mean, yeah, I could use some people who can smash stuff. However, they also have they also have heavy swing for their valor skill, and I think this only consumes one valor, which eh isn't horrible. have 20 she has only one more of these lapis pendants in stock otherwise what other stuff can we grab angel plume this gives plus one AP Ooh, that's pretty good though Pretty good though. Holy Knight Shield. Holy Guard. Heal 10% when using an active skill. Activates before being hit by a physical attack. Block with a medium guard. Prevents debuffs. I mean, that's pretty good. Or the cane. Reduce damage taken by a row of allies by 50% for one attack. I mean, that's also good too. Everyone can make use with the shield. Hmm. 
We heal, active heal, parting resurrection. He has the ring of the unicorn, and I don't want to take that off him. I don't know. Well, there. Eh. Warriors medallions are pretty good. What's this? Holy brooch. Heal 20% when using an active skill. Well, that's pretty good. Dynamic Glide, Heaven Steed Reigns, activate before attacked, or before being attacked, evade a single hit, grants the user plus 20% physical attack. That's pretty cool. Heaven Wyvern Reigns, Aerial Wing, activates for attacking with an active skill, makes the user's next attack a true strike. Grants the user plus 20% attack if the user is at 100% HP. Oh shit. White Cat Ear Hood. Quick Impetus. Holy shit, it uses 4. Base PP plus 1, initiative plus 10. Activates after ally uses an active skill. Allow the ally to act again. Grants the target plus 1 AP. Damn. Okay. And then some of these are just way too high. I need to get like 80 freaking shards for this stuff. Alright. I do want another Carnelian pendant, but like... I don't know. It's Fort. Wow, they get destroyed. They get destroyed. They get destroyed. <laughs> All right, well. Clive's unit's the only one that actually just runs through these people and don't get absolutely murked. I am your shield. I was worried that. You'll see no harm. Saw that. I see. Alright, we're just gonna walk by you. Past this point what lies the walled city of Adop Adopti. It appears to be under Zenorian uh, control as well. How did you manage to pass through here on your way to the checkpoint? They hardly have any guards stationed in the area, so it was simple enough simple enough matter for a small force as ours. But I'm sure they'll notice the entire army is shaking the gates. Well, let's see if Adopti. We got problems, boss. Big ones. Mm. Don't tell me. The Liberation Army is gearing up to kick down her door. I already heard the news. Thanks. Slurring a snake in winter, kid. Have to bite, too. You don't have to rub it in. So, what's the call, boss? Well, ain't that the question of the hour? See, us mercs gotta have a knack for picking the side that's gonna come out on top. Only way I ended up at night was by knowing just when to go searching for a new client. <sighs> it's got me thinking. Is Zenoira really how we hit it big? Yeah, only one way to find out. Round up the best sword arms in the gang and do it quick. Rumors have any kick to them, and these Liberation folk won't be the kind of backstabbing rats we're used to. Time to see what they're working with.
three poisoned mercenaries? It seems they've already noticed us, in fact. <laughs> the city is ruled by a famed mercenary who rode to prominence during the fight between Drakenhold and Zenoira. Make sure you're ready before you march in there unprepared. Battle for Adoptee. Oh, level 15. Okay, that explains a lot of stuff. Maybe we don't tackle this one just yet. Also, I agree. The guy has uh, some cool design and his name is Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> something doesn't add up here. Oh, we actually do wipe them out. Well, I want to see this happen. Nice. Alright, got some honors, and they're not going to be bothering us anymore. Hello. Scout the ruins. Ooh, more corn ash. Nice. Okay. Um, we're at 45. I think before I want to take on that fight... Level 15, and then there's these guys over here on this side. Oh, I never did this one. Probably want to do this. Oh, you filled in 25% of your map. Let me go ahead and copy that over. Nice. Ah. Fairy Renown. Four Honors. See this village here between the lake and that mountain? That's where I met my late wife a great many years ago. Do me a favor. Come back once you've filled in 50% of your map. Cool. I would love to do that. I'm just one away from fuck... Ah. Who's got who's got relationship stuff? Wait, hold on. Can I zoom in further? I'm pretty sure I have relationships. I have to, right? Do they show up here? They don't. Rapport. Uh, any others? Wait, I feel like I did this one. Facility has not been registered. What about you? Haha. -ha. Give me that rapport. Gotta say, I didn't think peop uh, people this damn nice were really out there. Hmm? Who is it you speak of? Aha, I'm talking about you, boss. I mean, who's ever heard of a guy asking an enemy soldier to join up with them? Could have sworn you'd had the sense knocked flat out of you. But maybe that's kind of mercy's uh, what been the king... Wait, what? what being a king's all about. Enough of this, I beg you. I stand before you a prince, Aubin, and only then through the constant aid of my entire army. Heh, <laughs> good to see you staying humble about it. But you really are different, boss. Rest of the world treats us mercs no better than dirt, just paying us our gold and then sending us to die. With you, though, we get given the same kind of respect any knight would. I hadn't realized that was so unusual. Yet my reason for hiring you was simply because I felt you deserved my trust, not for any sense of moral, uh, moral superiority. Hmm. Sure it was. 
as you said before, tis only coin which motivates your support for the liberation's cause. So I swear to you now, you shall have all your coin and much more once Cornea is returned to its proper ruler, rulers. Oh, uh, good. Looking forward to it. Essentially, he just wrote him a blank check. Support me and you get all your funding. Uh, do I not have... I don't have someone stationed here. Do we have enough? We do. Alright, that's completed. Thank you kindly, your highness. We'd still be living off water and old bread if, if you hadn't come along and helped us out. Nice. Renown. We could, but I'm a hold off. Let's just grab that real quick. Anything else that's nearby? There's this. Hold on, before I go too far. Um, what was the fight that we did here? doesn't matter. Can't do much without 30 pieces of course site. Once you have, we'll get it back to work. Wait, is it the same thing? I'm curious. No point trying to work without those 30 pieces of course site. Come back when you have the stuff we need, okay? Alright, well, that kind of clears that part up. That's there. That's there. I'm trying to remember what this fight was. Tower. I have someone stationed there already. Group haunts. What was the fight I did here? Oh, this was, um, okay, okay, I, I think I recall now, um, this was the one that we did in order to get to Scarlet, um, but I think I already have, who do I have stationed here? I have Miriam stationed here. Okay. Cause, cause her, cause her group came to assist us. So then, we will station another person from said group. Uh, either Kitra. Uh, we'll do Fran. I won't let you down. From the skies, I can spot trouble before it even ever even gets close. All right, cool. So you're stationed there. You can grab supplies for us whenever you whenever we need it. Hmm. Uh... I don't have enough for this one. Damn. But I do have two rapport scenes, so may as well. Fran and Miriam. Hmm. What can I possibly do with all this? I couldn't ask Kitra again, not after last time. Something to matter, Fran? And what's that bag you have there? Is this how I learn you're abandoning our order? No, I would never. It's from my parents, actually. An assortment of all my favorite pickled vegetables. Mm. 
I'm thankful for the gift, of course, but I'll never be able to eat all of it on my own. They also sent me an array of formal wear, which was which has about as much use as and oh, as much use in battle as a hibernating griffin. Granted, we do have the occasional feast every now and then, but knowing the company we keep wearing anything too fancy would just make me stick out. Might you be able to send it all back? I thought about that, but I've been passing things off to Kitra's family instead. After all, I'd rather not hurt my parents' feelings if I can avoid it. That does sound quite the puzzle, though I admit I'm somewhat jealous to hear of it. The only message I have ever received from my father demanded I honor my family name on the battlefield and nothing else. Though I suppose I would, should be pleased to hear anything at all from him, the man is taciturn to say the least. Even so, I'm sure he worries about you in his own unique way. And I bet no feat of bravery would ever make him happier than seeing you get home safe. I pray you're correct. And then we have this one that's over here. Kitra and Fran. Ah. Is this part two? We'll get you for this girl, Jesse Wait. Kitra, what's going on here? What's going on here is those mercs were making fun of me, so I taught them a little manners. Is that really all it took? You can't resort to violence uh, over every bad word said about you. Think of how you'll make us look, or yourself for that matter. You're the daughter of a lord, remember? You should at least start speaking like one, if nothing else. Sorry, not happening. The only lord our land's got now is Zenoria. My mother and dad, or my mom and dad are gone. Only lord our land's got. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm not a noble friend, and neither are you. Not anymore. We will be once our highness takes the throne. Everything will go back to the way it used to be. That's what they say, yeah. But me, I'm not holding my breath. Do you not believe in him, Kitra? It doesn't matter what I believe. Besides, you've, you're five times the proper lay I'll ever be. That's how it is, and how it's always going to be. I can't mean that. I don't really, and I know the prince isn't the bad guy. So, sorry, I'll watch what I, ha what I say from now on, promise. Anyway, I should get going. Places to be, you know. I wonder if that's a promise she can really keep. Ah, uh, pressing X to doubt. Definitely ain't going to keep that shit up. Gather more supplies, gather more supplies. Uh... Oh, I have you stationed here. Uh, I still need more sardines. Jesus. Alright, let's... I don't have the supplies here either. That's unfortunate. Um, Divine Shard. Okay, so there's that battle that is up there. Uh, hmm. So Fran stationed here, then I'm probably going to end up stationing Kitra here, but I don't have the supplies for this to do this, these deliveries. I'm just off. Alright, I'm going to have to make a note of that.
that's a sanctuary. I can't travel there. Um oh Good yeah. You, friend. I'll take your order anytime. So I can increase the rapport. Most of my groups are just three people. Wait, wait, is that how that works? Oh no, oh, I can just choose anyone. Wait, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how some of these work. I think... Okay. So, filling up a heart. If I recall correctly, um, I don't know if it's been explained in the game just yet, but filling up one heart... The, the, the two people who have that rapport filled up together gain bonuses when they're in a when, a, when they're in a unit together. If that heart has essentially a hand symbol that's that it's part of, um, they will have a rapport conversation between them. So. Some people have stuff while others don't. Um, huh. Looks like almost all of them have something with a lane. Let's at least do one of them. Uh. They already have a conversation. They already have a conversation. Uh, for shits and giggles. Yeah, just hirelings don't have anything special. I want to see... Weirdly enough, I don't have... Between those two... Uh... Sure, let's add Lex to the mix. Oh, I have free meal tickets? I didn't even realize. Sure, we'll Enjoy use one. That. Fresh sliced ham salad, ripened sweet oranges, bacon and soft boiled egg galettes, and fluffy potatoes. Let us sup, for the days ahead shall be harsh and cold. A feast for the senses. Do have some. Oh, it is good to relax every now and then. So now I have to see. Did that just put them into... It did. I think it just automatically gave them a boost into the next level. Holy shit. That was quick. Don't be a strange... Yeah, that just automatically put them into the first tier of report conversations. Cool. Okay. Um, Let me do this before I forget. Expanding a unit. I said that I was going to expand 
a lanes unit and likely was going to dissolve Berenice's units. Alright, so that's been done. you here we're gonna put uh, where are you where are you girl there you are oh it's sourced by who is not in the group that's why all right Gain more Valor points when defeating an enemy uh, unit. He can break uh, barricades, recover HP and stamina faster when garrisoned, or healing assists. Probably not going to. Um, Prim's unit is, is kind of doing the healing assist. Um, so I put... Berenice into this group in order to essentially just do a shit ton of damage while also being guarded um this is I think for you cover an ally with a medium guard that ally grants that ally plus 20% defense Mm. Who has bad 20? His physical defense is 21. 10. 10. 10. <laughs> they all have bad defense. Okay. Um, I guess really he's just going to do it on whoever's about to get attacked. Otherwise, he uses Noble Guard. Noble guards for himself, though. Uh, and this is a physical attack. Grants plus one PP if the user has 50% HP or less. Yeah, I think I want to say use this if his his primary is that he guards other people and that but if he has ooh actually okay uh All right, so he uses a skill only if its HP is less than 50%. Um, otherwise, he'll prioritize guarding other people. Um, if it is less than 50%, he guards, he gets plus one PP, he can still guard other people where he, when, where he needs to. Um, cover an ally, grants that ally 20% defense. I kind of want to say... <sighs> Prioritize covering the back row if you're able to. Um, she has healing. That should kind of keep the front row okay. Rolling axe. Uh, only use this if 
attack a row of enemies with multiple heads. Uh, I'd say two more combatants is fine. Because there can only be three. So then, wait, hold on a second. Why does that say... Oh, it's in general. Oh. Activates only when there are two more enemies. That's fine. Use rolling axe, because you're attacking essentially a whole row. Otherwise, use crush, stun them. That that pretty much delays them from, from doing anything for, for a bit. Um... Smash inflicts physical defense minus 20%. I would say use this to prioritize on armored targets and then otherwise go after people who have high physical defense to weaken them. Um... But this is also unguardable. I mean, stun's good. If I'm being honest. I may have to tweak around some of that stuff. Oh, um, I don't think I have, I know I'm just doing a whole bunch of crap and not actually, is it here? Did it steal me? Nope. Wait, no. One of these had a sword for sale. Did it steal your after? Beast Nope. One of these towns over here had a sword that I was it interested in after. buying. You're in the right place. Three thousand for a viper fang. We may look at that later. Did it steal your after? You're in the beast. Can't go there. God, I want to say it was one of those towns, but maybe I'm completely wrong. Did it steal your app, beast? Did it steal your after? You're in the right place. Spiked blue. What does this do? Oh, this attacks a single enemy. Boo. Well. Oh, these guys can use either axes or hammers. Well, that's good to know. Um. Jesus Christ. Nope. I was just there. That's level 38. I'm not gonna go there. Did it steal your beast? I swear to God, I'm gonna figure out which one of you cities has it. Did it steal your after? You're in the right place. I'll figure it out if it's the last thing I do. Did it steal your after? You're in the right place. Beast. Uh, was it this city? 
If it's steel you're after, you're in the right place. I'm gonna lose my mind. Maybe it was this one. Did it steal your after, it was. You're in the right place. Uh, active shatter minus one PP or minus one AP. Initiative plus three, but it's ten thousand. Ah, uh, okay. I said deliveries here. We need one more thing of lumber. I don't think I'm going to find it here, but we'll see. Was that the last thing I need for, for one of them? you there yeah ah that's meager timber same thing I know I'd be able to find it around here somewhere. Well, okay. So it was this town. Wait, no, it wasn't. It was this one. Nord Plage. Nord Plage. Hmm. Um, facility info. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate myself. <laughs> okay. I can just hover over and press the triangle button and it just opens up what's at the shop or or what they what they have. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Uh Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Well, all right, I know at least I know that's a thing. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Oh boy. All right, so I just need to hover over something, press triangle, and I know what's there. This pulls up the quest log. Or this pulls up what their inventory is. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like such a dumbass. Uh, Alright, we're going to do this side mission because I, I need to slap something. Uh, yeah, we're going to deploy to this stage. <laughs> the Blade of House uh, Millet. Upon hearing that a major Zenorian stockpile sits under the watchful eye of Melisandre Millet, the daughter of a Cornian house, uh, noble house, the Liberation sets out to defeat her and free the region. Level 11. The Blade of House Millet. Perfect. Ugh, I'm sick of sitting on my hands all day. Why does war have to be so boring? Those morons will pay for stationing me in the middle of absolute nowhere. Mm. Lower your yeah. voice, Lady Melisandre. There's no telling whose ears lie behind what corners. Anyone worth half 
half a dam wouldn't bother listening to my drivel. I swear fealty to Galerius, and this is my prize? Enough. This querulous nonsense is unbecoming of the storied house Mei's sole survivor. Millet. Your relation Millet. to the family line. Can we please not go into this now? I'd rather not feel belittled by my glorious ancestors today. Urgent news, milady! Speak. It's the rebels, sir. They're approaching our camp. Marching from Lisbouche, hmm? This all comes far sooner than I'd expected. And if the reports are to be believed, it seems His Highness Elaine leads the charge. That's the best news I've heard in months. This Elaine fellow might as well be hand-delivering our long-lost glory himself. Ah, there's the Lady Melisandre I know. I just hope he's easy on the eyes, too. And there's the other side of her. Can't you tell a joke when you hear one? He could be the most handsome man in the world, and I'd still fight just the same. Now, prepare for the assault. And station a separate contingent you know where. Yes, milady. Sound the alarm whistle. I want all lieutenants ready for battle at once. What I'm about to be delivering is an ass whooping to you guys. How old was that prince meant to be again? It would be an awful shame if he breathed his last before I got a good look at him. Maybe I'll just take a quick pre-battle peek. And why shouldn't I? There's not a man in the world who could hope to equal me. Uh, fanspo for Nightfall. Yeah, I I heard they're they're kind of going through it right now. Um, yeah, sure. If you got the points, uh, go for it. Is anyone there? I'm Melisandre, Cenarian General, and your opponent in the battle ahead. Why would you announce yourself like this? I've come to greet your leader, Elaine, before we force to face each other uh, in combat. <laughs> sure, we'll announce ourselves. Tis I, my lady. What words do you have for me? Hmm, I heard the rumors, but you're even more handsome than I expected. Pardon? <laughs> Oh, nothing. <clears throat> uh, you've no hope of winning this battle, Sir Elaine. We have countless men and even more waiting to join in a moment's notice. Surrender to Zenoira, uh, Zenoira uh, though, and I may just spare your lives. A bold request, but one I must refuse. I have no intention of laying down our arms, not until the rule of this land is restored to his rightful lord. Ah, such elegance, such noble defiance. If that's what you wish, then so be it. The next time we meet, we'll be in the midst of battle. Ah, so it's a Sundere. Gotcha. Ah, so much for convincing him to yield. We barely have any supplies left, and no hope of reinforcements either. <laughs> she was trying to deceive us. <laughs> All we can do now is strike at them with everything we've got. Surely you don't intend to take uh, take to battle yourself, Lady Misandre. Misandre. And why wouldn't I? Because, my lady, you are House Millet's sole remaining heir. I beg you, issue your commands for the safety of your encampment. Fine, just see that our men follow the plan. Alright, it should be the same or normal conditions. Uh, our post, if it's captured, we lose. If we defeat her, okay. So if we defeat the enemy captain or commander, we win. Cool. Um, okay. I first let me capture this fans bow. Wait, what's what's this? Oh, this is other stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go.
Night Nightfall. Fonspo. Deployed. Alright. Alright. Uh, I guess time to fight this waifu. Or whatever her deal is with us. Uh, let's see. All oh, these guys have a blister. Hmm. Well, we can take we can take that from them. Uh, let's see. Sword bearers, flying griffin units, armored units. Yeah. Okay. Um. We are going to deploy. Oh, I never did anything with that other unit. <laughs> I probably should. Uh, let's see. I mean, these guys are pretty strong. Greater garrison. Quick rest. Reduce time, uh, wait time while resting. guys are a cavalry unit or he's a cavalry unit um hmm. I mean we have like so many cavalry at the moment oh I mean I'll let you have command of this one I'm still gonna figure out something to, to do with you uh, I'm just gonna throw people in here just because And they can only have three, so I don't mind. Um, Alright, we're going to be facing quite a few armored units and flying units. So, Virginia's troop can go out. Um, I kind of want to bring a lanes unit and see what Maybe they're else. capable of doing. And... We'll bring out the Rolf's the units off. for an assist. Uh, sword bearers, ballistas... Yeah, so... I want to say Virginia's unit is going to be lagging behind a little bit. Um, is there a leader effect? Oh, you take less from ranged. Greater garrison, reduce wait time. Eh, that's fine. Time is at hand. Mm, we just absolutely smoke them. Cool. The we'll do set. that. Watch what royalty can do. Hmm. All right, let's move. Do you need something? Right. You follow a lanes unit. You face me. I'm here too. We don't even. All right, let's see what happens here. Give everyone a passive healing. Got rid of the debuff. Embarrassing. Stun him. And then Berenice goes in for the finish. We march on. Not bad, not bad. 
Elaine stands shoulder to shoulder with his own charges, and he's even braver than I gave him credit for. The Holy Knight Joseph appears to ride amongst them as well. I can only assume he's responsible for teaching the boy the ways of war. The charming prince, gifted not with not just <laughs> not just looks, but talents and spades. I can't say I'm not interested. My lady? Ah, yes. The fan club grows even more. Um, There was something that I saw. Rolling Axe. You're supposed to only trigger when there are... Activates only when there are two or more enemies... Oh. Okay, hold on a second. Only combatants with two or more members. You should be triggering on that because you hit a whole row of enemies. So, yeah, okay. This is different than... Yeah, if it's a row with two more combatants, use rolling axe. Otherwise, if it's a single target, fucking crush them. Um, I can't deploy, but that is different than Yana, who magic missile. You can attack two enemies with this, but only use this when you are attacking two enemies. Which is far different than what his skills should be doing. Okay. That. Ah, oh, we actually take damage from this. To me. All right. I have something. Wind fairy's charm. Your villainy ends here. I'll support you. We take absolutely no damage if we use this. Okay, and because Albin and Elaine, these guys are only level 11 that we're facing, but it seems like they just, they don't get as much experience because they're at least, it looks like if it's three levels higher than that enemy unit, they all get, they get reduced experience out of it. Um, whereas Berenice and Scarlet, they're the same level, so they got experience as normal it's quite the sight watching him march into battle like any other soldier indeed it is my lady the boy is more than just a skilled sport swordsman he's a fine leader as well even so he's a fool for deny uh defying zenora though that might be exactly what i like about him why am i getting play-by-play -play commentary from these two <laughs> um Okay, we're going to be taking some damage, so I'm going to move you, like, this way. Um... The time is at hand. We can bring out... It's just so weird that I'm getting this play-by-play. -play. <laughs> uh... Clouster's unit. I mean, you're way overpowered. I'm not going to bring you out. Clive's unit? Not that much. Higher. Adele's unit? They're all level 12. Adele's unit is not that high. Any distance. How can I assist? We'll bring you out. Mm, you could take out that watchtower.
All right. If you you just wipe them out, you wipe them out. Eh, close fight. We wipe them out. We definitely wipe them out. Um. Jesus, Elaine's group is just gonna mow through people. Sure. The path is set. I'm ready. Understood. Follow Elaine. You go after. Well, honestly. I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll Consider put you here. Dark. Um. Watch what royalty can do. You can wipe them out too. All right, let's go. Take cover. Gravity. Oh, you suck. Hmm. The time is at hand. We're going to avoid that. To me. Wait now. March. There, to the ballista. Go around that. Um. I mean, I guess you're just, you're just going after these guys. Ah! Shit! Hold on a second! Fuck! Do you need something? Uh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh. oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Watch what royalty can do. How can I assist? Um. I need you to engage once. like ASAP. Prepare to be run through. Enough? Perfect. Whoo! <laughs> I didn't think that that unit was gonna fucking just go past everyone like that. Um, what level are these guys? Thirteen. Put your unit there. Just because these guys seem to just want to fly past us. Cool. I guess. This one thrust of the lance is all I need. may be rough. Consider it done. They're taking damage as they're getting closer because this thing's shooting at them. Um how can I assist? Healing tonic is 30? No, oh, I thought it was 20 for some reason. Yeah, heal, heal them. You guys go after... Yeah, go after them. The time is at hand. Come then. I'm here too. Mm, they don't need the, the range assist. However, they do need healing. Which we'll do a healing font, bring everyone up. Yeah, perfect. I can't 
fail my sacred mission. Victory grows ever closer. Cool. I'm still so mad these dudes just flew past us. Uh okay. Well, we're gonna take control of that. Um Who's my target? You guys are pretty high level already. Yeah, take control of that while you guys Good lord. Sure. We'll take that. Do your worst. Oh wow, we almost finished him off from there. Um, Alright, we're about to see what happens. Oh, well, okay. Those guys got absolutely destroyed. All right, that's fine. Virginia can just go through. I won't disappoint. Can you? Uh, close, but I'll actually, what about you? Yeah, same deal. One thrust of the lance is all I need. Another step on the path of progress. Those witches got absolutely smoked. Merely say the word. My steed is swifter than the wind. You can grab that. Unfortunately, those ballistas don't move. I've arrived. Yeah, there's there's no available targets. Which kind of sucks. Understood. All right, I guess we'll get the garrison. What fortune? Beckoning bell. What a complete. You don't stand a chance. Yeah, sure. I'm going to switch this to only using aerial guard against flying units. Otherwise, use royal guard. Yeah, I think that I think that's going to be better. Uh, and parry right before being hit by a melee attack, negate great plus 1 AP. Uh, that's fine. Nothing Nothing really weird about that. Uh, attack an enemy with a critical strike. Crit range plus 50%. I don't think there's any problem with that either. Attack a single enemy with a first strike. Start at the battle. That's... and strike, I would probably also say because flying units have high evasion, prioritize flying units too with this. Either either one. Definitely scouts. Definitely flying units. You 
face me. I'll support you. Mm, that doesn't really do much. Easy now. Come here. Mm. Just just a quick crit, that's fine. And then he just destroys them. We march on. A fine bout. How can I assist? Uh. Ooh, that would be very bad for us. Consider it done. I say you grab that and then you come back. Actually. Merely say the word. Set this as a rally point and then My head back to do battle the with wind. them. And that works. I won't fail you. I mean these guys are just gonna get smashed. <laughs> and dead. Did I manage to help? Not even surprised. <laughs> I think I've gotten a little better at this. That unit's done for. So you I'm can off. finish off them. Do you need a healer? They're gonna end up dying. So honestly, I think probably move you there. We will put what's the remaining troops that we're looking at? Swordbearer, sword bearer. Not a problem. Not much of a problem. And then her. Uh, weak. I, can. I would say. Let's put Yana's group. A test for my magic. Here. Uh, and if I need to move her, I can with a teleport. Otherwise, I'm going to have Virginia's unit. We're going to give you double mobility. So you can finish off these guys and then head on up to deal with those units. All right, let's go. You dare challenge me. Uh, yeah, sure. They may not live through this. As if I could lose. <laughs> Maybe it's not all bad. A paltry effort. All right. What is it? Now that you're done, uh, go smash these is guys. This flying troop. Uh, they're gonna take care of that. They're gonna be moving. What is it? Ooh, actually, I think I may also. I won't disappoint. I'll if I had Fran, I'd, I'd be able to use her thing, but I don't. That's fine. Let's get you moving double time. Uh, I think that's it. Your villainy ends here. <laughs> Two thirty-two. <laughs> Good God. So much for that curse. Yeah. Uh, 
I think adding Berenice to this, to this group was a good idea. We march. All right. To me. Grab that garrison. It's time. Deploy our men stationed at the ruins. What? More of them. Everyone embrace uh, brace yourselves for their against their attack. Omnir men, take their command post and put an end to this pointless struggle. Ah, you see, you done fucked you up. <laughs> you done fucked up, kid. I'll spend two valor to just artillery fire onto you. And practically almost waste all of your troops. Perfect. Okay. So then, what do we have here? Swords people? Okay, so the witches are done. The swords are done. It's just a hunter. And just cavalry here. So then, I think... Yeah. Elaine, uh, Prim, your group, your your team still links up with Elaine. Watch what royalty can do. I'm gonna say, I'm off. Move to the to the ballista. I'm prepared for anything. My steed is. How can I assist? Wait, whoops. Relay point. I ride at once for the liberation. What have we here? I'm prepared for anything. What's Light Tail Feather do? Doubles the mobility of all allied units in range for. Oh shit! Okay, that's actually pretty good. Uh, you can rest for a hot second. The position is ours. I'm ready. I mean, I could just waste them again. I mean, yeah, they decided to group up. GG, go next. They're beaten. Do you need something? Oh, yeah, you guys are all fucked. And then you can just support anyone who runs into there. Yeah. What's next? Uh. You shoot him in the back. That's fine. I never miss my target. Oh wow! They even have magical assist too. That group took no damage out of that. I also wanted to make sure. Uh, armor Shatterer, prioritize. Yep. Dual shot. Two or more enemies. Use that against them. Right. Okay. Try Good. That unit's done. That unit's about to get. <laughs> that unit's about to get a ballista shot to the face. Um, Elaine. I would say go wipe out this. Onward. These guys. Really say the word. You garrison here for right now. Is anyone surprised? You face me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I feel sorry for them. <laughs> huh. 
dead. Dead. Easy now. Dead. Nothing stopping me now. A fine bout. What is it? All right. There's no one. Is that all? You follow a lanes unit. You rest up. That's I'm fine. For anything. Actually, this may go faster if I do that. Who's my target? I'm gonna have you rest. We're gonna have you. Uh, we'll it's have me. you move to here for right now. By the father's will. I've arrived. Yet to claim victory. Let's see. You're not fully healed, but eh, that's fine. Follow a lanes unit. I ride at once. Oh, your light feather is gone. That's that's fine. I'm off. Go after their unit. You're within range of healing. You're within shooting. You're still following. I'll help however I can. I'll do it. Elaine's units. We march. And you All go right. smash them. Your villainy ends here. Oh, one thing I will do is give yourself some stamina. Stronger than ever. <laughs> All right. The path is set. You face me. They're just outside of support from Rolf. So follow a lanes unit. You guys all Time's go kick the crap out of these guys. Onward. Come then. You don't stand a chance. Wait, who are we facing? Do your worst. Oh, we're facing those guys. You face me. Uh I'll heal you. Healing assists? Sure. Done with. Uh, continue marching on. Jesus Christ, we just destroyed them. Cool. All right. Come then. One thrust. You dare challenge me? Uh, yes. Use their truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leah just destroyed them. Um, by herself. 
didn't even get a chance for Virginia or Minette to actually do anything. I mean, we are kind of overleveled for this fight, which makes sense. Um, I still find it fucking hilarious. Um, we're going to teleport to a lane unit. Excellent. All right, and then Can say the word. Consider it done. I mean, that's... Well, actually, hold on a second. Cancel. You stick where you are. Watch what royalty can do. <laughs> I feel like this just isn't fair. Hold on. Let me... Let me wait until they bring out someone, and then... I'll show you what a witch can do. Don't worry. Follow do them. Setting off. Follow him. You fought well to reach my camp, Elaine. Now lay down your arms and we may show you mercy. I'll do no such thing. But I would ask the same of you, Mosadre. Relinquish your posts or suffer the consequences. Just the response I was hoping for. Come then, let's see if the bite of your blade can match that of your words. Um, I'm pretty sure you're about to get your ass handed to you, but sure. Oh, that actually doesn't help. It like has the hands. amount of damage we're about to do to them. I mean, we're just gonna. Yeah. This liberation of yours is even tougher than they say. But don't expect I'll give in without a fight. It's not no, gonna be a very long one. Me with the sword. And that's not about to change today. Uh, spoiler alert! It's about to. went down Berenice to this group just the increased their damage so much. Stingray. Ar Artany Strike? Is this supposed to be like Artery Strike? Crit rate plus 15% and you have Poison Immunity. Activates at the start of battle. Attack a single enemy with a first strike. Ooh. Grants the user plus two PP if the target is defeated. Ooh. Interesting. done with her my prince I know how this goes I'm prepared for any fate you see fit X 
Q there. Interesting. Uh, no, you shall join my harem of waifus. Because I see how this is. I see how this this story is going. <laughs> I perhaps I misspoke. I mean that you belong with us. The liberation, that is. We have great need of fighters of your distinction. Oh well I suppose it's still a tempting offer. You mean to accept, milady, but their hopes of success are nigh non existent. Oi, we kicked your ass. What did our loyalty to Galerius get us besides tedium and depression? And now that we failed him, he's bound to complete the trifecta with our heads on the chopping block. A fair point. We'd more than likely face the same fate were we to decline the Liberation's offer besides. In truth, no odds are too small when they're the sole chance to preserve your noble lineage. Speaking of that lineage... Just imagine. Cornea's illustrious house Maye, allied with the Mie. rebels who seek to reclaim her status. Why, we'd be a prized feather in their cap. Isn't that right, Elaine? I wouldn't dare disagree. Our union would be a significant one indeed. Then it's settled. I should say, I've taken quite a liking to you. No, of course you have. I'm joining. Above anything else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, Melisandra. That's not all I want, though. Once you claim the throne, I'll be expecting a place at your side for real. Sorry? Oh, don't worry. I'm not asking to be queen. Just one of the few dozen consorts every king calls upon. <laughs> she knows exactly what she wants. Let's discuss it another time, shall we? <laughs> this girl has a battle plan both in and out of the castle oh shit that was a lot of people that were defeated Ooh, another black iron sword. 15 renown, too. Glad to be coming with you, Elaine. Melisandre joined the Liberation. Sword fire. Sword fires are swift to act and capable of unleashing true strike attacks, allowing them to easily cut down thieves and other scout enemies. Perhaps I should accompany you as well to make sure Melisandre doesn't cause too much trouble, of course. And Calm has joined. Um, even though they kind of just now explained the unit, I'm pretty sure um, Leah is a sword fighter. Yeah, she is. Um, and she's been super effective in this group alongside Virginia. Um, I think the next order of business is expanding their group to adding someone. Um, but yeah, Melisandre. Hmm. Gosh, I have so many people. It's just... Home. Do you have? Well, I didn't need to do that. Oh, you do have first aid. Oh, it's because you have a first aid kit equipped. It. Glossers 14. Magellan is 13. Uh... 
Damn. I'm now kind of regretting getting some of these NPC unit, or sorry, these hirelings, because I have so many like named people now. I'm trying to figure out where to throw them. I must say though, Elaine's unit is working out very well uh, for what I what ideas I had for it. So that much is is great. Um, Clive's unit is pretty good. Um, let me actually move you here just because. Um, Clive's unit is good just because Hodrick is able to practically defend from most things and if they get hit pretty hard Sharon's able to kind of heal them uh, heal them back up this unit I have absolutely no idea what the fuck I'm doing Virginia honestly if that's the case then I may as well put you closer, because why not? Uh, Virginia and Leah and Manette. Though, reduce wait time while resting. HP and stamina will cover while garrison. They're almost never going to be garrison, because they're going to be hunting down flying units and scouts take less damage from ranged assists um which is okay yeah that's fine I like don't use Yana's unit mainly because Joseph is just so powerful within it. However, I do want to. I wanted to build a magic unit, um, which would probably consist of these two my wizard and Yana, the witch. Sorry to say it, but this is just a regular old garrison. There's nothing here but tents and wagons. Alright. Dig you up. Sardines. Nice. More sardines. So I definitely need to station someone here. So we can grab supplies. Oh, there they are. Corn nuts. Nice. What's wrong with this place? Cornean trout? What's going on there? <laughs> 